Hi loves, it's Sasha. Before I say anything else, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And after you do, click the bell. You'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. It's free. Today's video, I'm going to be doing a very in-depth talk through on how to apply contour, bake your face, highlights, and blush. Basically, all the things that these celebrity makeup artists have been doing on celebrities, it's been all over social media, and I will take you through every little step. I will tell you the do's, the don'ts, the why's, and why nots. So, let's get started. You can put on any foundation. It could be full coverage, dewy, matte, sheer, anything your heart desires. Just make sure that it matches your skin tone, or it could be a shade or two darker. Just make sure you blend down so it doesn't look silly on your face, because you don't want to have two different colors. What I'm about to do is I'm going to apply concealer because that is the first step of the whole process. Meaning if I'm just going to put on some mascara, a sheer foundation, fill in my brows, and some concealer, I'm going to want to do one or two shades darker. Or you could use a concealer that is the same shade as your foundation. What I'm about to do is apply some concealer on camera. And the reason being is because Whatever technique you're doing, I'm going to use a concealer that is a shade lighter than my foundation. Or you can use a concealer that is the same shade as your foundation. It does not matter as long as it's lighter than your foundation or the same shade. But on a day like today when we're going to do the whole glam look, the whole face beat, every single step, I'm going to be using two or four shades lighter than my foundation. And the reason being is because throughout this whole video, the color of your concealer is going to change. And I promise you that by the end of this video, you will be so much happier that you have a lighter concealer because then it will look more structured. And after all, aren't we trying to get a flawless face? Now I bet that you have been seeing everyone using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. The reason being is because this concealer is full coverage, super full coverage, and it's super lightweight, and there is no creasing. I repeat, there is no creasing at all with this concealer. I'm very dry under my eyes, so this concealer works extremely well for me. If you want a drugstore concealer, then the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer will be perfect for you. Again, if you're dry, use this one, but for the people who have oily under eyes, then a cheaper recommendation would be the NARS Creamy Concealer. So I use a shade Fair, and I'm going to just draw like a triangle under my eyes, and maybe draw it a little back there. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other side, a little triangle. And I'm going to put it on the tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose, and then on any blemishes that I want to cover up. Then I'm going to take a damp sponge and I'm going to be wetting it with the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. And this will also come in handy when it's time to bake your face. I just started using a damp sponge because it goes out much easier and it makes me have a flawless finish. And I like using a beauty blender instead of a brush because when you're using a brush you are dragging and when you're using a beauty blender you are pressing into the skin and the moisture will pick up the excess concealer so if you apply too much then the beauty blender will just pick it up and it won't look cakey. So I'm going to go in with the RCMA No Color Powder, and this is my favorite because my under eyes are dry. Um, if you are more oily, I definitely recommend the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I used that before, and when I smiled, then it was just like, it, was, it felt so stiff under the eyes. So I'm going to open it up, and then I'm going to take my damp sponge and dip it in and don't be scared I know what you're thinking like Sasha you can't mix powder and water or you can't mix liquids in powder but this I promise you will work just trust me on this just gonna stamp it under the eyes 
and after I promise it will look flawless. This will change the way you do your makeup now. And after that I'm going to use not a wet sponge and I'm going to put a tremendous amount on the sponge. Like this is what I'm talking about, maybe a little more. Now there are other ways to do this. You don't have to use translucent powder. You could use a setting powder. And the difference between a setting powder and a translucent powder is that the setting powder, you're just setting it and you're moving on with your life. But as opposed to when you are baking, you are making it bulletproof, meaning it's not going to move. No matter what you are doing, the makeup is not going to move whatsoever. And I explained this in a video before that drag queens use this when they're under hot lights they use this baking technique it's literally called baking because you're putting this under your eyes when you do that it means that you're trapping the heat so the heat is coming through and then it's stopping because this is your skin and this is the powder it's trapping it so your skin cannot breathe and your body temperature is around 98 so you are literally baking your face, like you're trapping the heat. Your skin cannot breathe. And I'm just going to press here. And you want to put as much as possible. You want to make it super thick. Now you don't have to do this, but a lot of people like to bake in other places if you know what, if you know how to bake. I'm just going to do the chin strap technique and I explained that in a video before because my chin does get oily and this will come in handy when you contour. So I'm just going to drag, that's when you could drag. I'm dragging down here and here. Should I just go out like this? This is like, this is really nice. It looks amazing, right? And now there are so many different kinds of setting powders you could use. In the winter, I use the Chanel setting powder. And for like all, like the rest of the year, I use the Charlotte Tilbury. And you are all probably wondering, what should I buy that I won't regret buying? To be honest, I'm not you. We are all different. There are so many opinions on like the different brands like, oh, I don't like this one. Oh, this is perfect for me. So I will name a few and you will just have to trust me. So there is the Anastasia powder for drugstore powder. I recommend the Fit Me one or, uh, or the Stay Matte. For more pricey, go with the Anastasia powder, the Chanel or the Tilbury. For the purpose of today's video, I'm going to be using this method, but it will make your under eyes stay in place all day long. No matter where you are or what you are doing, it will stay in place. Now, I'm just going to set my face with the Charlotte Tilbury powder. Just for the people who set their faces, you can see how it looks after. And again, you do not have to do this. This is just for the people who set their faces with a setting powder and you'll see how it looks on me. So this whole thing is actually pretty incredible, but please guys do not put your face in the oven. Like that, that would be really bad and you don't want to really cook it. It's just calling baking because it's like what I said, but don't put your face in the oven. Now for contouring. Contouring can get tricky because again, there are many brands and people say, oh, I like this brand. It's like, I'm going to stay away from that. No, I love that. So, so I'm going to use the Chanel Tan de Soleil cream contouring once I get it. But for now, since I don't have that, I'm going to be using Ligour Minerals contouring palette, which looks like this right here. And I got this off of Amazon. It's pretty cheap. And it's my all-time favorite bronzing palette. Like I've tried the Anastasia Cream Contour Palette and the regular powder, 
palette, but this one is my go-to. It's my all-time favorite. Now, some people say that you need to have a cool tone bronzer or a warm tone, but that is not the case at all. It really depends on your skin tone. And so many people use the Benefit Hoola Bronzer. It is so popular because it works on every single skin tone and I think it's also really amazing. I've been using it for such a long time, but if you want like a palette, then I definitely recommend this one. Now, for brushes, there are so many different brushes that you could use. There is a fan brush, which is, I can try to insert a picture right here of what a fan brush looks like. There is also this big fluffy brush that you could use. I use I'm going to use this one, and I do use this one. And there is the, the angled brushes. And I think you guys have seen what angled brushes look like. They're just like on an angle. So the way to contour, but first I'm going to show you what um, the contouring tools I'm going to use. So I'm going to use these three down here, which you guys know that I use that all the time. And I go from here, right here, which is like the corner of your ear right there. And then you're going to contour down to the end of your eye. And I used to contour this way, like round like that, but I don't want like a round contour. I just go straight down, so. So having face powder in the areas where you're going to contour will really help blend out the areas and smooth it all out. Also, I don't have a ton of product on my brush because I would rather have very little than have too much and having to wipe everything off, so I would rather build up the product. And if you wipe off the bake, that is totally fine. You could either bake after you put the contour on or you could do it before. There's really no rules to it at all. Now I'm going to go to the hairline and slim it out. Now for baking, you usually wait 10 to 15 minutes, but I like to wait 10 minutes. And now to brush the bake away, you could use any brush you like. Sometimes I don't want to contour my temples because if you have bronzer there, then it will bring your face inwards. And what we're trying to do is bring your face outwards, meaning you want to have more of a higher cheekbone. Now for blush, you can use any blush you'd like. I'm going to be using the Mariah Carey blush by MAC, and it's in Sweet Sweet Fantasy. And I love this blush so much. I think it's very natural, yet just it just looks so amazing, and it has a little bit of shimmer to it, so it's so cute. When you apply the blush, you do not want to put it too close to your nose because you're not trying to bring the face inwards. You're trying to make it sculpted. Sweep back and up. And you don't want to get it on your bronzer. You want to go up near your temple, but don't put it on your temples. Now for highlighting. I feel like highlighting, there are so many techniques. I feel like it's a whole separate video with highlighting. You could highlight the entire cheek, you could highlight the center of your cheek, or you could highlight the high point of your cheek bones. I like to highlight a little bit on a cheek and a ton on the high point of my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow because it makes my lips look more hydrated, a little bit down here to make it look more full, and I like to highlight a little above my brow because it will give a lift to my brow without making it look too noticeable. And I like to use a tapered brush. This is the same one I use for my uh, blush brush but I use this side for the blush and the other side for the highlight. So for the highlight, I'm going to go in with the Becca and Jaclyn Cosmetics. And this is the limited edition highlighter. As you know, I use this all the time. And it's in Rose Quartz. I got it off of eBay. And I'm just going to put a tiny bit on the cheek and a ton here. Highlighting is honestly my favorite part. And then I'm going to go in with the Kylie Jenner highlighter in Fiji. And this is so amazing. I love this highlighter.
And I'm not going to put on any lip gloss because we're just focusing on the face and all the technique. This concludes the video. I really hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And I really hope that this video helped you. I hope you learned at least something from this video. And I love you all so much. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, princesses. Mwah.